Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a product review. I have here the new Tress Allure Cool Flow Dual Styling Iron. It looks like this. This is a heat tool that Tress Allure came out with. It can be used on wigs or human hair. What it is, is it's like a flat iron, but it's got rounded edges so you can curl with it and it blows air out of these little holes. So as you're roll, push, pulling it through the hair, it's cooling the fibers. So you can curl heat friendly wigs with this and it makes it so much easier. I, for one, am thrilled about this because I have struggled to curl heat-friendly wigs for my entire wig-wearing career, <laughs> and now, now I can curl. So if you want to know more, and I'll demonstrate for you, then stick around. So the wig on my head right now is called Flawless Waves by Tress Allure. I have recently reviewed this piece, and one of the things I talked about in the review was that there are some pieces, so it's got this really messy, messy, unorganized wave pattern, but there are a lot of pieces at the top that really don't have the wave that the bottom does. You can see that up here. And so what I wanted to do was try to figure out how to put a little bit more just little pieces of wave here and there to match the rest of the hair. And I am going to use this to do it. My technique is not perfect. I need a lot more practice with this to be really good at it. But this has been a game changer for me. I have not been able to curl heat friendly wigs so far and I've tried um, quite a few different things. I haven't put a huge amount of effort into it because I don't know, I just got discouraged, but I have been told there's another brand out there that makes a flat iron that has this air that comes out of it. And I've heard from others that it can work really well on heat friendly wigs. So when I saw that Tressler came out with this, I thought, okay, now's the chance to try it. So let's get to curling. All right. So I've got it heated up. I've got the fan on and I'm just going to try to add just a few little curls and show you the technique. The wig on my head is a human hair wig by Emma Hairpiece that I just recently reviewed and it is fabulous and I'm loving it. So if you've not seen that review, you should go check it out because Emma Hairpiece has budget friendly human hair wigs. All right. So let's see the best way to do this. So all I really want, I don't really want to mess with that curl pattern below. I just want to add a little bit of curl on the top so it's not such a contrast. And so what you do is you take this and you, you use it like a curling iron or a flat iron, but then when you go to take it down, you just twist it. And right there is the curl I just put in right here. So it does take a little bit of technique if you're if you're not used to styling hair or wigs this will take some practice I'm still practicing with it but look at that so far it, it work is working better for me than anything else I've ever tried so let me demonstrate it again so basically so you can see I'm just taking little sections when I clamp it in I bring it down and I twist it and then I just sort of keep twisting it as I'm pulling the hair through and then it adds just a little bit of a, a wave in there or a curl Let me try it over here let me actually see if I can tilt this a little bit there we go. So I take it, I twist it, and I just pull it through. And then at the end, I just do a little twist to sort of encourage that fiber to go the direction that I want it to go. And then I just let it sit, and it will just hold that right in place. One more time. Just like that. And then a little bit of a twist. 
And look at all of those curls I just added in. All of these. It just works so easy. I mean, it's just, and then, you know, let them cool and then you can fluff them. And now I've got some messy waves on top to sort of match the waves on the bottom. Let's see, I want this one to curl the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna twist it and let it go down. And there we go. Wow, I can't believe how easy it is. Let me try. Whoops. Let me try right up front here. Make sure that you guys have a good view. Oh my goodness, look at that. Right there. So now that piece, instead of laying straight down, it's going back a little bit. I'm really excited about how this works. Right there. It's just so simple. So something else, and I'll tell you just a little bit more about this in a second, but something else that you can do with this is let's just say you've got like this has a little bit of a wonky bang right here so you can take this oh goodness this is going to be tricky to do in my phone because i can't really see what i'm doing but you could take this and just redirect those fibers a little bit Tough to do in my phone for sure. There, that one worked. So it was sticking up. A little bit easier to go that direction than this direction. If you're good at styling though, you won't have some of the same struggles that I'm having. Look at that. And then just give it a second to fully cool before you mess with it. Unless, of course, you want to maybe relax out what you put in. If you do that right away, it won't be as defined of a curl. I'm just so happy with this. This is the opposite direction of what I'm used to going. So let's try that. The good thing is, if you mess up, it's pretty easy to fix. You just don't do the twist. You just run over it. with the straightener part. Yeah, so fun. It just works great. All right, let's talk about the tool and then I'll let you guys go. So basically what you have is you have a power button and that also sets the temperature. So you can go from 280 to 320 to 360, which is what I was using. I was using 360 to 400 to 430. Those are the temperature settings. And you can use this without the fan. So if you were just using it as a straightener and you didn't want the fan on, then you just hit the fan button if you want the fan on. And when you first turn it on, the fan should come on as long as this button is lit up once it hits the right temperature. So when you first turn it on, even if you hit the fan button, the fan won't come on because this needs to get up to temperature, then the fan will come on. So the point of the fan is when you're taking the hair through and then you're twisting for adding curl, the fan is blowing out and it's helping to cool that fiber 
so that the curl will stay. One of the hardest things for a lot of new wig wearers to, to manage is putting curl in heat-friendly wigs because they don't curl like human hair curls. They take a lot more effort. You have to basically hold the hair in place in order to get it to curl. Let's see if I can fix this while I'm talking to you guys. Um, and that's a real challenge for me. That's been like the biggest challenge that I've faced is I don't have the patience or really the technique. Some people will take the curl, they'll drop it into their hand and then they'll sort of pin it up. I've not been able to master that. But as you saw with this, I didn't need to do that. So for me, really the next step is to practice technique. I am really clumsy when I use it. So I haven't mastered how to change the curl depending on what look I'm going for. I kind of only have one. I'm a one trick pony when it comes to using this, but with practice, I should be able to figure out how to get a really nice barrel curl versus how to get more of a messy kind of a crimpy curl. And that's just all practice. So to sum up, this is the new cool do the cool flow dual styler by Tressalure. It works to put curl in heat friendly wigs but you can also use it on human hair as you saw the temperature does go up quite high i would say start with three at 320 see how it goes and then you can increase it to 360 if you feel like you need that for it to work better um not every heat friendly wig can take the same temperature so you'll want to double check with the manufacturer how hot your particular heat friendly wig can go let me know if you guys have any questions. I will link this in the description for you guys um, on Amazon. And I'll link my review of this wig as well in case you're curious about Flawless Waves. Thanks for watching.